Okay folks, uh, another pod fight from Perth with the Urban Broadcast Collective's Tony Matthews and me, Paul McGinn. So we're basically standing in the middle of Yegan Square. This is just a recently open public space, or I should say quasi public space. Partially public space. Partially public space, private public space, privatised public space, public private space. Something weird like that, anyhow. But a very active space. But a very active. Uh, and this is another one of the major connectors which links Northbridge with Perth. So behind us here, behind over our shoulder here, is uh, the CBD again, basically. So that's heading south. And we're looking north. So we're just going to give you a quick uh, 180 degree view of things so you can get an appreciation of what things are like here in Yegan Square. So we're going to go westwards basically as you kind of turn around sun's going to be in our eyes and, bl and blind us basically completely back with the glasses back. so you'll see basically it's a nice kind of uh big open public space mainly concretey and open and hard surface yeah that's not going to be great in the summer this is going to be a real urban heat island in the summer and there's not a lot of greenery around here and there's no water features so not a lot to take uh to take the urban heat island effect away which is not great in a place like perth where you get 40 degree days yeah but given that it's only open i would imagine there's probably still some more interventions to come shading is going to be a big issue i think though so whether that they use artificial shading or have some more natural shading uh, interventions will be kind of really interesting to see. I get the feeling there'll be no shading, i got to be honest with you. Okay, because, well, one of, one of the most interesting things here about um, Yegan Square is the big digital display screen. So if we kind of slowly rotate again for you, if we're lucky. It's coming up soon. There it is behind my head. So Between us. If you... Okay, if we, we're going to tilt this for you. So that is not a third member of the podcast. Collective. Hang on, it's a kind of big digital screen. And this is quite an iconic kind of uh, digital digital example of, I suppose, tactical urbanism, basically, here uh, in Yegan Square. And it kind of broadcasts various kinds of landscapes and uh, things about people and stuff like this. Although, interestingly, um, it was hacked about a month or so ago and some adult material uh, was actually broadcast up onto the screens for about five, six minutes. So need to be careful with these tactical urban and urbanism uh, yeah. projects. And I, I think an early example as well of what a lot of people are worried about with the smart city uh, movement and this uh, digital cities thing, which is the idea that if you digitize urban spaces and urban features, you leave them vulnerable to things like hacking and, and, and so this is one thing to hack a screen and put some adult material up there. A um, whole other story of somebody hacks a fleet of autonomous vehicles or something like that. That's much more potentially problematic. So I think uh, we're seeing some early signs of, of maybe an impending urban problem, something that's going to be with us more in the future. Yeah, so on the one hand, we're, we're seeing kind of digital disruptions, urban di digital disruptions or uh, disruptive urbanisms through, digit, through smart city uh, interventions. But ultimately, these things may be compromised sometime uh, in the future, uh, which will pose big problems for our security, our surveillance, you know, our uh, ability to consume and walk through these types of spaces. So, okay, another quick uh, pod bite from Perth uh, with the broadcast collectives, Tony Matthews and me, Paul McGinn. So, see you later, folks. See you next time.